Hi, Super Spruce here, back on another um, Ordinal Markup video, episode 46, and I can finally get the two Incrementi upgrades I need. I can get this, which will double the pro production of Incrementi, but more importantly, multiply Incrementi, multiply by 1.2. This will allow me to get a 90,000 times multiplier here, but more importantly, a manifold, which means that I'll be able to get one more singularity level. I and I guess even more importantly than just the singularity level is the singularity function I'll be able to get. So that allows me to do this build right here. Finally, Aleph no multiplier, devise challenge eight goals. And there's a new thing, square root, the fourth factor shift cost need second set of Omega challenges unlocked. Okay, so I'm I'm nowhere near that. Or, or maybe, maybe even closer than I think, but I'm, I'm not very close to that. So... I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into challenge 8 with this build, and hopefully I'll be able to get more challenge 8 completions. So, uh, yeah, I have to actually go into the challenge here. All I need is E35 or no points. How am I supposed to get E35? I don't know how I'm supposed to get E35 ordinal points. I'm, I'm getting all the ordinal points I can. I can't get any more than 4.34 E33 ordinal points. And so I'm supposed to get E35. I, oh, it's probably, it's probably the singularity level. Maybe that'll help a little bit. No, it's still the same amount. Even with the minimum singularity level. I don't get it. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to complete the challenge? I thought I was going to get something at singularity level 65. And, well, I guess it's a new upgrade. But there is no, nothing else. There's, it's just this build. I cannot use any other build. Maybe I can't do anything with booster upgrades. I re I'm really not sure. Maybe I'm supposed to use a different build than the one I'm currently using. Like maybe I actually should go into a different build and then go back into another build, and maybe that will help. So let's see. I can I can probably I can do something like this, which gives me um, a bunch a bunch of things. This allows me to get. 1.304 E34 ordinal points. And then if I switch back to this build, I'll be able to keep the ordinal points, but the goal will still be the E35 instead of like E37 or E38. Maybe instead I should try to reach Omega to the Omega times 4 in challenge 8, but in base 5 only. So maybe I should do that. Or maybe I should just do something like this. I'm actually one function away, so uh, no, that's not going to help. It's still only 6.5 E33 ordinal points. Maybe I should do maybe, maybe a build like this. No, it's just the exact same build that got me the ordinal points I already have. Maybe, maybe something like this. I'm I'm really just I'm I'm really unsure what to do right now. Uh, can only I can, again I can only do one of these. Maybe I should do this. This gives me no. It's still only E33 ordinal points. Really not sure. Like even with every everything I can, I just can't do. I just can't do a good combination of builds. Like I haven't tried this yet. Uh, no, it's not powerful. Like even if I try this, I don't think this is gonna do much. Yeah, it's eight E33 ordinal points so I feel like I'm really stuck right now I don't know what I'm supposed to do I mean I guess I can get decrementing with this build pretty well but that doesn't really matter all that much I don't think because like even with all the decrementing I still need like it's, it's still about the same amount as I was getting before and the dark manifolds don't help all that much maybe I just need more cardinals or more olive power I'm, I'm really I'm actually really stumped by this I'm thinking of just exiting the challenge and then trying a different build, like doing this. If I actually, I think just the same build as before here, reaching Omega the Omega times four in challenge eight, but in base five only. So maybe using this, well, I instantly go to base four. So I should turn off the factor shift auto auto procedure, and now if I go into challenge eight, maybe let's see S um, down to base five. It's about as much as I can get in base 5. I can't even get close. Like, I'm nowhere close to Omega to the Omega times 4. Like, I don't know what 
I, I must be, it's actually probably because, yeah, I need to press M. That allows me to, oh, I beat the challenge. Boom. Finally, I didn't even need the, this upgrade. Or the, the, the upgrade here. Or this upgrade, that, that, that's what I mean. And actually, I've, I, I read the guide, just a, li a guide a little bit, or just skimmed through, and I heard that this completion was challenge was was possible at like singularity level 55. So it must be because of that. I'm I'm definitely gonna try the challenge again because I feel like I could possibly be able to beat the challenge a 16th time, or yeah, I, I think no, not a 16th time, a 15th time. I, I currently have 14 completions. So E26, E38. And that's about... Actually, I can get E43, and I think I just beat the challenge again. So that's 15 completions. Maybe You know what? I'm just going to keep trying it, because it's obviously working. So, let's see. Base 5, E43, ordinal points. And I'm getting more decrementy out of this. And probably with this upgrade here, if I do this, I'll be able to complete the challenge. Oh, it's really close. 4 E33. Maybe if... Or it's just, wait, it's just E33. Uh, okay, I, I factor shifted somehow. Not exactly sure how I did that, but I did. So, okay, I'll, just, I'll just go back to this build. And actually, now I can do this, because now I have 36 challenge completions. Each unspent function increases the LF2 effect by 40%, except I have no unspent functions. So, it's useless for now. I mean, maybe if I... Uh, maybe I should not do this, but... It's useless here, but maybe it'll be useful in other places. But anyway, I'm just... No, not, not that challenge. Challenge 8. Just... I'm gonna try it again. Try to get as much decrementy as possible. So, base 5. Um, get all the ordinal points I can. 8E43. Just get as much as I can. And then try to go for a different build. That gives me more decrementy. Except this build is giving me a lot of decrementy. So maybe this is pretty optimal build. And I really don't want it to just like automatically factor shift. I, I have no idea why I automatically factor shifted before. Like I'm really like I'm, I'm really not sure. But like if I do this, hopefully okay this is this, this did not um, automatically factor shift. However, I need two E44 ordinal points for that. So uh, yeah I think I just keep using this build for now, and this will give me a lot of decrementy. Enough that, after just waiting maybe like an hour or so, like I'm getting EE25 per second. An hour of this will get me up to EE29 decrementy, allowing me to get one more singularity level. So, I mean, I'm, maybe, I'm not sure if one singularity level is that worth it at this point. Maybe I should be focusing on, on other stuff, because actually maybe... I think I really should be focusing on other stuff, because now that I have 36 challenge completions, I think I'll be able to get a lot more incrementy in Cardinals. So, yes, this is nice, and definitely it'll allow me to get, um, especially if I wait a day, I'll be able to get, like, three singularity levels out of it. But at this point, I think I can get singularity levels faster if I try different things. So, now I'm just going to I'm gonna turn back on the um, Factor Shift Auto Procedure, and try to um, and go as high up as I can with the singularity levels. Um, and hopefully, with the right build, I'll be able to get some some good stuff here. If I can actually access the right build. Like something like this. Maybe this will give me a lot. I'm not exactly sure how much increment is this giving me. Only E75. At least my singularity level. Maybe the singularity of 65 is too high. And maybe at like... Just like 60 is a better. Like I'm getting E76 incrementy per second, but it's really not a lot much. I mean, the olive 2 multiplier is um, this. It's ordinal point gain and incrementy gain. So I feel like actually maybe my previous strategy was actually better. Because the thing is, if I wait a day, I'll get three singularity functions. And with this upgrade here... I'll be able to, or if I can find it, if it, this upgrade here, three more unspent singularity functions will increase the olive 2 effect by 120%, which is about the amount I'll need to beat the challenge 
with that with this one so hopefully i think the plan is to just go into challenge eight and and wait a day and this should give me three singularity levels and the challenge completion that's what i feel like it'll do i mean maybe i'll just grind there is one more thing i can try and that's grinding some cardinals so if, if i can like like maybe use a different build for grinding cardinals this could definitely help things like something like th a build like this except i'm one singularity level off but maybe this will give me good factor boost i'm only getting it's only 280,000 per second but then again i'm i do not have the base six now base five upgrade but i really i feel like challenge eight is the best option here so just use well first of all i need to turn off the factor shift auto procedure and go back into um, this build and hopefully yeah this should allow me to beat the challenge just barely like that's what I'm thinking and, and also I should probably put all my unassigned cardinals into this just to try to get as much like olive power as possible even though it's not gonna really be much um, and I'm not even in challenge eight yet just go into challenge eight do, do, the, do the same things as before e24 36 Wiles, oh yeah, it's because my, yeah, I was going to say, why can't I get all the way to Omega 3, Omega times 4, but it's because of my singularity level. I just get everything I can here, and this should allow me to grind some decrementy, and with all this decrementy, this will definitely allow me to get a few more singularity levels, which will hopefully allow me to beat the challenge one more time. And I think um, with one more challenge completion, I get something, I think. Yeah, actually, if I go to booster upgrades, um, I need 37 challenge completions. Currently, I have 36. And that's, this thing will allow me to unlock Omega Challenges. So I'm actually closer than you think to Omega Challenges currently. Honestly, I think I'm going to unlock Omega Challenges next episode. I think all I'm going to do in this episode is just get these um, last few singularity levels so I can get the last few... Uh, so, so I can just get this challenge completion, and I think that'll be it. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and you can see EE30 de decrementy. This actually allows me to um, double the growth of decrementy again, and one, two of these upgrades, and three of the leftmost upgrades. This will allow me to get four E30 dark manifolds. This actually allows me to get a 4,000 times um, multiplier to the dynamic factor cap. And let's see, he, here, here's the moment of truth. How many singularity levels will I be able to get from this? One, two, oh no, not three. I thought I was gonna be able to get three and just because I can only get two, I'm not gonna be able to beat the challenge. I mean, I guess I can get more decremeny. So I, I guess this always helps, but it's just, it's disappointing. I only got two um, singularity levels in 24 hours instead of th instead of three, but yeah, I mean th this will definitely still help. Like if I, I don't even know what build I was using. I, th I think I used this somehow. Yeah, I think I was, I was using this build, and this definitely will be a little better. It's 1.5 e44, and I mean it's not quite enough. Oh, oh man, did I seriously just do that? I just blundered big time. Okay, I don't. I I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow. I forgot that um, doing that reset your decrementy. So uh, I mean, it's actually not that big of a blunder. I probably lost only 20 to 30 minutes of progression, and and the thing is that I'm probably gonna be waiting like many hours. So it'll make a negligible, if any, difference. But still, don't do that again. So, yeah, see in a bit. Wait, actually, I miscalculated. Remember when I said 20 to 30 minutes? Uh, it's more like 3 to 4 hours, or at least 3 hours. So, yeah, I just blundered 3 hours of progression by clicking a button that seemed like a good idea at the time. So, yeah, this game is weird. Okay, I'm back a day later, and I can get 3E31 dark manifolds and I can get um, one of each of these upgrades 
this should allow me to get some more singularity levels um, with a new or with this build. I actually am at singularity level 67. I think. Why? Wait. What? Uh, did I not get the? Oh. Okay. Um. Anyway, I should be able to get. Yep. And there it is. A level 69 singularity, and that's and. Before you go say nice, I think the game is going to say nice um, once I actually get it to 16. Actually, I, I'm just going to do it here just because it should. Yep. <laughs> OMG, that's the nice number. So, yeah, that that's a thing. But um, there is one more thing I want to do this episode, episode, and that is actually, you know, complete the challenge for, um, like... Yeah, just com complete this challenge, and this should be easy with a level 69 singularity, like hopefully. Or actually, I was going to do this and then go to a different build, because um, I, I can get two E44, but uh, actually I think that's enough. Two, I, I will do this, yes, I do acknowledge that my decrementy will go away, but uh, I will... Um, mark up just to get anything I can. It's 2.28 E44. I think that's enough if I go get um, like a build like this. I don't know why I went the right path instead of the left path, but I think that's the challenge completion right there. 16 completions of challenge eight, which means that I think I have enough challenge completions to unlock Omega challenges. All I need to do is just grind some more factor boost, which that shouldn't even be that hard. So, yes, I'm gonna. I actually, I, don't, I have no idea what the optimal singularity level is. I'm just gonna exit the challenge and um, turn on the auto procedures here, and hopefully, let, let's see how much I'm getting at each singularity level. Twenty-seven thousand. Okay, yeah, I need a better build, of course. Um, I, th I think the best build was something like uh, this, like something. Like, I, you know, I think this is like the best build I can make. And actually, it's, yeah, it seems like a strong build. Let's see how powerful this is. This is 304,000 factor boost, and it keeps going up as I, okay. Um, right now, the right now the optimal singularity level is 56, but I feel like this will increase a little bit. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make it 58. And um, I feel like that'll be more optimal like later on. So yeah. I'm, I can't believe I'm, I'm so close to this new mechanic that is currently the last mechanic in the game. So, yes, I'm catching up to the end game of Ordinal Markup. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.